Hi everyone! So today I'm going to be doing a step-by-step -step eyeshadow tutorial, I guess, for beginners. Um, so I don't go into any of my face besides my eyes, um, and I really just break it down step-by-step -step what I have found the easiest um, when it comes to doing my eyeshadow. I think I used four different colors, so not a ton. Um, but I got a lot of requests for this, you know, just like what order do you do the colors, you know, what colors you use together. So I hope that you guys like it. I hope it's helpful. If you do have any questions, um, please leave them in the comments below. So if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, comment, do all of them, do one of them. I don't care, but I would very much appreciate it. But I am going to jump right into it, so thank you so much for watching. Here we go. Okay, so as you can see, I've already done my face makeup, so now I'm going to jump right into the eyeshadow. So to, I guess to explain the way that I try to think of my eyeshadow to make it as simple as possible is, let me use a brush. Okay, so you're going to have you know, depending on what eye look you're doing, like whether you're doing a smoky eye or a cut crease, it's gonna be different. But in general, you're gonna have a light color, a medium color, and a dark color. So the way I try to think of it is you go light, medium, dark, light. So I like to have my light color in the inner corner and then fade out to a darker color when it comes to my lid. And then when you move up, it's medium and light. That's the easiest way I know how to explain it. Um, if that's not helpful, I'm sorry. But so I'm just going to keep it pretty basic with this one. Um, and start with my medium color, which is going to be this peanut butter color. Um, I also like to call my medium color my transition color. You'll hear, oh my god, look at this. I don't know what just happened. Um, you'll hear transition color used a lot if you watch makeup tutorials. The way that I try to think of that, uh, think of a transition color is like, it's just gonna, that's where all your colors are blending into is going to be that color. So I'm taking that on a fluffy brush. The most important thing about eyeshadow is to start light and then build up, um, cause it's obviously a lot harder to, um, take away than it is to add. So take that on a fluffy brush and for your transition or your, me or your medium color, you're just going to work this into your crease. So a little bit under your brow bone, but for my transition color, I am okay if it goes up a little higher over my brow bone and closer to my eyebrow because that's, then it's gonna be seen when, it's just, it's gonna be more seen when you start to add more colors. I don't know if that makes sense. Ooh, this is really honestly kind of hard to explain. Um, but so, the trick to eyeshadow, and I'm still learning it really, but is a very light hand. And people say windshield wiper motions, I don't like saying that because when I was watching people do this, I'm like, okay, this is one shoot wiper to me, but it's not. It's, which I guess that's, yeah, that's how your windshield wipers go, I guess. So I was wrong. But I like to feel where my brow bone is and start there and then work in very lightly, very gent gently. Also, when you first start with this transition color, I like to have most of my product on the outside of, like out here versus on the inside. So you go back and forth, or I go back and forth a few times and then start working in after I feel like I've got it, the color where I want it. So I think the most important thing about eyeshadow that a lot of people miss is that you it's you have to be patient because you have to blend so much. And by blend, I just mean really 
go over and over and over, not necessarily with more product, but just with a really light hand and a really fluffy brush until it doesn't look so harsh. Um, another thing I would absolutely suggest is getting good eyeshadow brushes. I wasn't using good brushes for, honestly, until like a month ago, and I couldn't understand why my eyeshadow didn't look the way that I wanted it to, and 100% was because of my brush. Another little trick or tip, if you struggle with bringing your eye, I used to bring my eyeshadow out on accident like way farther down than I was supposed to. Just take a little piece of tape and put it right here. Um, I still do that sometimes, honestly, especially if you want it to look very clean and have like a sharp line, then I absolutely would try that tape trick because that has saved me bunches of times. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my darker color and I'm gonna use the, let me see, this truffled right here. It's like a, it's literally just a chocolatey brown. I'm taking that on a slight fluffy brush, but it you can see the difference between the one that I just used for the, the transition color and then this one, it's a little bit more tapered. So, with your darker color, or the way that I like to do my eyeshadow typically, is to work this into my crease, but to really focus it on a V shape in my outer corner, and I try to keep it lower than my transition color so that I can still see it, because you don't wanna put the darker color over the medium color, because then it's just gonna cancel it out and you can't even see it, and you can't even see what you just did. So. That's why having a, you know, good brushes is important, especially for this step, because you have to have like a smaller, kind of more precise brush for this part if you want to do like a V. So what I'm doing is just working that lightly, that brown color, and it's okay if it gets down onto your lid, but just try to keep it under the peanut, or peanut butter, under the transition color. And I just work this back and forth in tiny windshield wiper motions. And they're obviously gonna blend together a little bit, like that's kind of, that's what you want. Um, but you can see that you can still see the peanut butter color on top of the brown. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now what I'm doing is just meeting that point where I just started doing this truffled color and bring it down to make a little V, a little point. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in and do my lighter color. For my lighter colors, I always like to do a little bit of a glittery or a shimmery, um, I guess, eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using this one right here. It is Fling. I don't know why I told you that. Um, and I am honestly just gonna take this on my finger. And this light color is going to be this is where I like it to start on the inner corner and then fade out to that darker color that we just did. And you wanna try to keep your lighter color strictly on your lid for this part and not go up too much into that transition color so you don't defeat the purpose of putting that on. So I always like to have a shimmer or a highlight in my inner corner. Um, sometimes I just use like the same eyeshadow that I'm using for my lid and just 
put that in there and then sometimes I'll go back and, and use a different one. I think for this one I'll just keep it all one glimmer shade so we're not doing too much. One last thing I like to do is I like to take some of the colors that I used on my top lid and just run those across my bottom lash line. Um, especially if I'm not doing mascara on my bottom lashes, I like to do this because it kind of just pulls the whole look together. So I'm gonna go in with this peanut butter color, the transition one that I used, and run that under my lash line. Okay, so I know that I had said you go light, medium, dark, light. So for this light, it's not gonna be the same as this light. I mean, you can do that if you want to, but what I'm going to do is to take this butter pecan, pecan, however the hell you... The point of this light color is to really just highlight under your brow bone. So you can do this with a shimmer, you can do this with, like see that's so cute. Um, you can do this with a matte eyeshadow that's a little ah, lighter, or something else you can do is to take something like this, which is like a brow highlighter, and you just go, I'm not gonna do it right now because I just don't want to, but you draw under and just do that kind of exactly where I just did. I'll use this product in another video, but that light color isn't, it doesn't need to be the same one as your eyeshadow is the point that I'm trying to make. Okay, so I added some Mascara to my bottom lashes, my winged liner, and then some lip color. What is that? Um, but I hope this was helpful. Um, honestly, eyeshadow is something that I have struggled with for so long and I'm still struggling with it. Um, but one thing I can say, if you take anything away from this video, is that if you think you're crappy at eyeshadow, it might not be that you're crappy at eyeshadow, you might need better eyeshadows and you might need better brushes. So you don't have to spend a lot of money um, to get nice eyeshadows or nice brushes. I will um, put the ones that I used in this video in the description, but they were super cheap. My brushes I think were $15 for like all 13 of them. And then that eyeshadow palette is a little pricier. It's probably like $40, but you can get super good eyeshadow either at ColourPop, I like, um, Morphe, and BH Cosmetics. They have really good eyeshadow and I like all of theirs. Um, for this one, I kind of just, I wanted to stick with my Too Faced Chocolate Bar because that's what I know. I've had that palette since I was like, God, 19. Um, so I absolutely love that one. So I got a lot of requests for this video, so I hope it was helpful. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.